It's Chuck here. We're back with Milton Daily Homes, and we've got kind of a fun episode today. Uh, much less properties than yesterday, so it gives us a chance to stretch out and have some fun. So I, I heard through the grapevine, my wife was in conversations, and apparently one of the very successful realtors in, in town, um, her mother's a big fan of this show. So Jane Ann, if you're watching, uh, welcome. I mean, it's great to hear that uh, that you're a fan. So, um, But I sent the realtor an email, um, and, and this is what it said. So it said, Dear Successful Agent. Obviously, I didn't say that. I said her name. But I said, uh, Your mom would like to list her home with me. Hope that's okay. And the next thing I wrote was, oh, by the way, she also wants me to call her mom. Best wishes, Chuck. Whoops. Chuck. So there you go. So that's, we had a good time about that. We had a good laugh. And, uh, you know, behind the scenes, a lot of realtors in town, we uh, we get along pretty well. You know, we're all sort of battling each other, but it's all good. So Jane Ann, welcome to the video. I uh, thought I'd just give you a little shout out and say hello. So anyways, we got five listings today. Uh, and the first one is at 298 Woodlawn. So this is a link home. And what a link is, is from the outside, the homes are relatively close together, but they're detached. And in between that gap um, is underneath the ground, the basement wall is shared. So the homes are linked together. It's a little bit cheaper for the builder to build like that. Noise-wise, it's a pretty thick wall. It's usually a good cinder block or a poured concrete. And uh, that's not really much of an issue. So it's really a lot closer to a detached than like a semi-detached, but it is linked together with the home beside. Sometimes you'll see links that are linked by the garage. Uh, so technically the definition is anything that's linked uh, by a non-interior wall. So if your bedrooms are linked, if your living rooms linked together, if the walls on those areas are linked, then it's called a semi-detached. So anyways, the... Um, no pictures yet. Three bedroom plus one. Uh, that usually means there's one in the basement. Uh, 30 feet by 100. It's a nice piece of property. And so these ones are at an age where they're just crossing past 30 years. And we just want to check them out to make sure that uh, that they're in good shape, right? We want to make sure the windows, the roof, all that stuff's been done. So when you look at this one here, they put a steel roof in, which is pretty much a lifetime warranty, which is kind of cool, uh, even though it looks like a bomb shelter. But uh, it's structurally, it's amazing. Furnace and central air, 2005. So that they got about 25 years out of that uh, that whole system. Want to make sure the windows are good. Um, the roof has definitely been replaced, so it's probably about a 10-year roof at this point. And uh, so there you go. So it, you know, I think this one will wait for the pictures, but the price is very attractive for anything that's essentially a detached home. Gifford Crescent, 349. And it's an end unit townhome. See, it says townhome, but I'm I'm kind of thinking it's a semi. I don't know. It's hard to see from this picture here. It reminds me of the Hills View end. It reminds me of the old Croftside model. So we're probably looking somewhere between 13 and 1500 square feet. Hardwood on diagonal here. Nice thin slats. I like that look personally. Um, gas fireplace. And, you know, in the kitchen, you got to clear off some of that stuff. Get this table out of here. Good staging advice. You know, realtors talk about staging. A lot of them really don't get it and the, the huge effects that it can have. So anyway, so three shots of the kitchen. There's another little uh, overlook here. And then upstairs, you've got the bedrooms. Um, so it could be like an Emery model, which is, you know, kind of 1350 to 1400 square feet. Big piece of property here, too. It's a nice size piece of land. So there you go. You got that one. 349. Mm, you know, it's not blowing me away. I think it, uh, it has some value here. That might be a little bit aggressive. It says a finished basement. So here's the other thing too, is that you have nine slots. I counted, there's six pictures. Show me the finished basement. That's a huge value thing. That's, I mean, that adds 10,000. And that might mean the difference for me of saying, hey, it is a good deal. And I'd want to take my clients and check it out. So um, we're no different than home buyers as realtors. We're looking for the best value for the money for the people that we're helping. So 931 Scott, 389. This is a rose, rose, uh, something rose it's 1860 something like that it's a semi four bedroom 
second floor laundry, there's the kitchen there. And when I look at this home, the first thing I'm thinking is, okay, someone's going to have to put in a, uh, it's great there's a microwave, okay, but you can put a, a stove and a fridge and a dishwasher, and you can put window coverings, you can put fencing in the back. So before you know it, you're down 10 grand easy, probably more than that. And you can buy other homes that have, in this price category, that have hardwood floors that have been gorgeously done, all the stuff in the 390s. So this one, to me, is not working. I, you know, it's just, it's, I, th I think they're very, uh, you know, and it's on Scott, too. It's like Scott is a tough street to sell. They're kind of out to lunch on this one. Sorry, guys. It's just the way I feel. So, um... 809 Yates. Now, I want these guys to get good money for this home, okay? It's a beautiful home. It's a sterling model, so 21, 2200 square feet. You got the double car parking in the driveway. Inside, that's beautiful. That's what people want. I want to watch a movie on Saturday night in that kind of room. The kitchen looks nice, you know, it's an I mean, extended pantry. You've got the... Um, you know, you've got the uh, backsplash, you got crown moldings, all that stuff. There's the front room there. Uh, Master has moldings. And there's a finished basement. It looks really nice, too. You can tell these guys like to chill out and uh, have a good time. And then the backyard's been done, and there's a hot tub and everything like that. However, four ninety five dollars ain't happening. It's a single car garage. It's a 36-foot lot. The basic model for this one probably sells $415, $420, maybe $425. So add up all the upgrades, the hardwood, the finished basement, landscaping, you don't get a lot of money for it. So the um, so the value of this one, I mean, you're I mean, at $450, I've seen some really good models like this. So Sorry guys, it's not gonna happen. Unfortunately, I'd love it to, but you guys are are way you, you shot the mark very, very high. So um now Moreland's is the last one, and it's at 519, and I think it's this one. I was looking at Google Maps, I think it's this home right here, and so you can see how the lot sort of pies out on both sides, and um Moreland's is a is a great street, you know. I think uh four bedroom plus one. Backsplit fours are huge properties. And um, you got hardwood floors. It looks like they've really done a lot of stuff. Oak kitchen, granite counters, vaulted ceiling, third level loft is open. So they've got a loft upstairs. Really, really cool. They've, they've probably done the loft as an addition, but I like this one. I think I, I really can't wait for the pictures. And you can check the link on Milton Daily Homes. We've got a link below every video. And that link, as soon as the pictures come up, you can check that and it'll be updated. So there you go. So that so you might find the pictures later on today for this one. So that's uh, that's Milton Daily Homes for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a fun time with our little story. And uh, hello again to Jane Ann. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.